Good morning, Texans. Alan Spade with this day in Texas history for December 9th, 1835. At 7 a.m., the Mexicans raise a truce flag. Uh, the additions of Ugarteca's reinforcements cause the provisions to run low with no food for the horses, and the command structure breaking down costs Captain Sanchez to get the best terms possible from, from the Texans. Negotiations continue into the next day. The previous day, James Grant and Colonel Gonzalez were able to get a large portion of Casas' troops to defect with 200 cavalry men leaving as we reported uh, yesterday. Governor Henry Smith and General Burson ammunition on the way to help the Texians in Bejar. Tunnels involved in the battle include Ambrosio Rodriguez, Eduardo Ramirez, Pedro Herrera, love that trill, Salvador Flores, Manuel Flores, Simon Ariola, uh, Casio Carmons, Vicente Zapata, great, 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 great uncle, uh, Jose Maria Ar Arrocha, Matias Cuever, Antonio Fuentes, Juan Jimenez, Great, great, great grandfather Gil Jimenez, Juan Antonio Badillo, Damasio Jimenez, Terribo Lasoya, Gregorio Esparza, and others. These men were led by once again in Plaza Benavides. Juan Badillo, Damasio Jimenez, Terribo Lasoya, and Gregorio Esparza all died at the Alamo. One of the successes of the Battle of Bejar was that they had a lot of support from the locals, which was mostly Tejano, uh, especially from the ranchers, who were a lot of them were family or friends of Juan Seguin. Um, so that really helped them. They had a lot of support, and they were they were able to attack the Alamo from all directions and just give them no uh, no nowhere to breathe and nowhere for troops to come in to uh, to, to help them out. And even when did uh, troops came in, it just made their poor uh, situation with uh, no no food for the people and the horses even worse. Don't forget the uh, the grass fight. They sent a whole bunch of cavalry out there to get uh, grass for the animals. So that just shows how bad their situation was back then. All right, this has been Alan Spade with This Day in Texas History uh, for December 9th, 1835. I will see you tomorrow. Please be sure to subscribe.